-hmm. Welcome to another video by DJSBRC. We're back with Project Cherokee here. Before we continue again, this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com Check out the website, it's awesome. On my last video, where we're doing the side rails with the receiver box and the shock mounts slash body mounts, um, I did one error that I noticed after. Now, if you guys follow me, you'll notice that I did the error too. Uh, I went and bolted the transmission mount slash chassis. I put two bolts here uh, that I didn't need to put. I needed to put them through the receiver box. Notice that after, and I want to correct myself here. The other thing too, I forgot to put this bolt right here. And then I added this one here in the middle of the battery tray. Now if we flip the chassis on the other side, the other rail goes in it. You're pretty much repeating what's on the other side. Now what I'm gonna do is find the one that holds the front bumper and the rear bumper and screw these guys in. That way everything's gonna be holding itself uh, in place. I uh, would need a 115. I know I will need a smaller one that's this guy here and my 115 that's right here. It's not a 115. These are longer. Well, I guess I got it in my hands. I do have the receiver mount right here. And I did forget a bag of screws. And my 115's in here. Again, I'm gonna use my driver. Take my rail. Make sure everything aligns itself. Not going too tight. That's nice. Do this one after. Grab another 115. Now, physically, we have kind of a chassis. Just making sure everything's seated correctly. This I will need after. Let's do it right now. Uh, we have a countersunk. It's a longer one. If you look in the manual right here, it's right here. It's a 146. That's a 146. Don't put it too tight because there is an indentation that enters the chassis to make sure. Now what I'm gonna do here, grab one of my drivers. Just try to align it because right now, basically it seems to be a little bit uh, crooked here. There we go. What was happening, this was a little bit crooked itself. 
and it was sitting on top of their rail right here. Now again, we're gonna go for our front shock tower, then we're gonna go to our rear shock tower. I'm gonna keep the middle part at the end. Oop. Making sure we put the correct one. Grab our Grabbing the wrong screw. I love Axial for this. That's one thing I do love. Their actual books show you which screw you should grab. Tells you the, the, the link you need. That's why I like it. Oop, grabbing the wrong one again. One forty six. <clears throat> so we that one in and let's do our back one two. go now we're ready to install this guy here i'm not going to do the same mistake i did on the other side this goes in first then we have our 145 115s go grab the other one here you'll notice it's just one place if you go on the other holes these are for the uh, the links for the axles now we're going to grab our 2.6 that we need our 1.5 And physically, we have a chassis. Not a roller yet, but it's coming. Now, if you guys have any comments or questions, please post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that bell notification in the corner here. And beside the bell, there is a thumbs up, should I say. Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and if you want to hit that bell, to let you know next time I upload a video, go ahead and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.